the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or MOSFET is a device used for amplifying or switching electronic signals. The basic principle of the device was first proposed by Julius Edgar Ullenfield in 1925. In MOSFETs, a voltage on the oxide insulated gate electrode can induce a conducting channel between the two other contacts called source and drain. In general, MOSFET are not used too often in discrete component design. Basic Construction MOSFET is composed of three main terminals referred to us as drain, source, and gate. The source and drain terminals are connected through metallic contacts to p doped regions. A slab of n-type material is formed from a silicon base and is called n-substrate. The silicon dioxide is present to isolate the gate metallic platform from the region between the drain and the source. Basic Operation and Characteristics Effect of no voltage from gate to source bias With no bias voltage applied to the gate to source terminal and some positive voltage from the drain to source terminal of the device, the resulting current will be zero. Maintaining voltage from gate to source equals to zero and voltage from drain to source at some positive voltage. There will be a forward bias in the source and reverse bias in the drain, resulting to no current flow from the source to drain. The only effect of increasing voltage from drain to source with no voltage from gate to source is to increase the width of the depletion region around the drain. Voltage from drain to source and voltage from gate to source bias. If both VDS and VGS are set at some positive voltage, the drain and the gate will be established at a negative potential with respect to the source. The negative potential at the gate will repel the electrons in the end substrate along the edge of the silicon oxide layer entering the deeper region in of the end substrate. This causes the formation of a depletion region. Since the silicon oxide acts as an insulator, there will be no current passing through the gate. This attraction of holes will create an induced P-channel connecting the drain and the source. The presence of the induced P-channel will allow a current flow from source to drain. As VGS increases in magnitude, the concentration of holes near the silicon oxide surface increases until eventually the induced P-type region can support a measurable flow between the drain and source. This level of VGS that results in a significant increase in the source current is called the threshold voltage. A larger VGS increases the number of the holes in a channel, increasing the depth of the induced P-type channel resulting in an increase in the source curve. Pinch of Voltage With small VDS, the source current increases linearly with drain to source voltage. Increasing VGS at small VDS will result in a deeper induced P-type channel at the drain end than the source. This outer shape of the channel is called pinch off, causing an increase in the resistance of the induced P channel. At the pinch off point, the induced P type channel depth at the source is reduced to zero. 
the voltage between the gate and the drain end of the channel is now equal to the threshold voltage. The increased channel resistance causes the source current to approach saturation level. As VDS is increased further with constant VGS, the pinch off point moves toward the drain, reducing the effective length of the channel and increasing source current slightly. In saturation region, the MOSFET behaves as a current source with source current independent of VDS and is controlled by VGS. Thanks.